This is ridiculous. It's a little upsetting. That's crazy. Sometimes the freedoms we hold dear create the most turmoil. Kind of hard. How do I explain this to to my little one when I'm driving here? And I'm, like I said, I'm all for freedom of speech, but this is this is just too much. Deep in the River Park neighborhood, this display is angering a lot of homeowners. Some have asked the man behind the display to take it down. Just said, Doug, really, uh, swastika? That that kind of crosses the line, you know, for this neighborhood. And uh, he just, he called it his art and got very defensive about it. And it started with the statue in December, neighbors say, then a Palestinian flag in January. And in the last two weeks, these homemade poster boards with swastikas went up. The man behind the display opened the screen door to give us a better view, but would not explain the meaning. Why don't you want to talk? Why won't you? The Jewish Federation of Sacramento says displaying a swastika may be protected under free speech, but... It is a symbol of murder and genocide and tremendous sacrifice to eradicate Nazism uh, from this planet. It's a basic freedom that's dividing this neighborhood. The only thing is kind of creepy. I may not agree with it, but I'm not going to condemn it, that's for sure. I really do want to get out of my car and rip that down. But the only reason I don't is because I do believe in being a good American. And I do believe in freedom of speech and all that good stuff. But I, it's got to go, man. This is what the display looks like at night. It's lit up with Christmas lights. Neighbors were so frustrated by all of this, they called the police department. Officers showed up at the house yesterday. But the police department says there's little they can do about this one. In Sacramento, I'm Richard Sharp, KCRA 3 News.